Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Samuel's Gardening World. No, I don't know. I did actually just make a perfectly good video, but halfway through, dog ran off. We're having some problems with tourists right now. Uh, everyone thinks it's their own private uh, cycle road, and they uh, they come from the city. They go, oh, back. We're now in touch with nature and the countryside, and they just forget all parental responsibility for their animals. But anyway, I wanted to show you this. Um, I wanted to show you the farm as it is now uh, because tomorrow I've got all my plants coming uh, it's going to be a job that's for sure there's the mustard look coming up nice so yeah the strawberries are, are struggling uh, in March we had plus 30 degrees on 4 or 5 accounts um, and then we had torrential rain uh, and uh, uh, serious winds, which I'll come to in a bit. But I have managed to get uh, the sweet corn in, and eventually all of this will be sweet corn, but with uh, pumpkins underneath it, because the pumpkins will shade the roots of the um, sweet corn. So these strawberries again, I've got more strawberries coming, I've got more Mara de Bois, and I've got a new variety called Shallot, so I thought I'd take a punt. Um... Is not looking great. Lost a few. Uh, the blackberries and red, well, these are red currant. I've planted all the way along each edge. So, oh, that was in the last video. Beautiful acrylesia. Beautiful euphorbia. And I've even got some nice sedums coming up. So, But, you know, these, these strawberries aren't looking too bad. They didn't know what to do with the heat. Um, but now, you know, they're not, they're not hefty. They haven't got huge flowers on them. Obviously I need to weed through here. Um, I'm leaving the stinging nettles for the ladybugs. And I'm also not killing all of the uh, cabbages that do have aphids. Because obviously the ladybugs want something to eat. Here we've got the first of the beans. These are mostly for me. And then all that will be cabbage and onions. They've, they've all come up well. These are, are Scottish peas. Uh, about 50% germination rate, but it has been super wet, so I suspect uh, a lot of it's rotted. Then we've got all of this uh, amaranthus, this is that huge 2-3 metre job uh, coming up. Then we've got the neck of golds, they're all coming up lovely. And then I swapped a couple of ciders for um, a couple of kilos of uh, uh, shallots, so... Okay, I didn't drink it, but uh, I will be able to eat it. So the comfrey is looking gorgeous. The borage, sorry, blues and whites. It's me that's salt that sown those, I think. But um, you know, they're just a delicious plant. You know, just a beautiful thing to see as well. You know, I don't know if it's in focus. But anyway, here's what I'm talking about. Some obviously I need to weed through here, but that's not looking too bad. That's not looking too bad, you know. Obviously, I've got the dock to get rid of. And then this section is kind of like a salad section, both for me and the rabbits. So I've just spaffed a load of seeds of lettuce in there, let it come up red and um, red and green. And then as and when, I just sort of uh, weed through the grass and the uh, barley. See, there's the difference. Um, and then what I actually do... I can get down here because my knees are fucked now. I've got to probably have operation on both. Two false knees. Uh, so what I do is I dry it like that for a couple of days, three days, and then it goes in a little tub like that, and then that will last the rabbits about a day. So I just do that every day. Uh, wild garlics coming into seed uh, flower. So yeah, that's the kind of storm we've had. Just like every year, as soon as I build a greenhouse, that's when the wind comes. When will he learn? Um, I don't know if it's completely fucked or I can fix it with gaffer tape or... I don't rightly know, but uh, that's not pressing. So yeah, I've got seven... I'll make the video tomorrow, once I've got the plants. They'll probably just be just at my house for now. 
and then they all need to come up here. A couple of years ago I planted asparagus, I found three that have survived, everyone told me I was crazy, um, but I'm not going to harvest them, I'm just going to let them put their crown on, put their spiders on. And then all of this green here, the vast majority of it, and all of this green up here is rocket. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing at this stage, but uh, the beds are ready. 10.30. Obviously no one's available to help, so I'm going to have to bring 22,000 plants up here uh, on my lonesome. Oi just escaped, so he has to learn to uh, stay in place. We'll have a quick look over here. Because <clears throat> it's all it's all it's all systems go really. Um, the buckwheat's doing okay. All the way along there. And then this fell down, so I'm in the process today of uh, fixing that. And then this area, can we see any alpha alpha? Nope. We can see buckwheat, but not even a lot of buckwheat. Oh, well, we'll see how the buckwheat goes as an experiment. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so that fell down. Broads, these are ones that these are the broads that are grown in the greenhouse. Just spaffed them on top of the compost that I made, uh, and then uh, I've got more broad beans sown here. That's a whole packet. Uh, and then all the way down to the bottom of this part is uh, Araconne sans fil uh, vert. So it's green stringless beans. I'll show you the packet actually. So I've got all these lovely lettuces, self set, already going to seed. Look, shows how messed up everything is. And then I've got a bit of an aphid problem here, but I'm not too worried about it. So yeah, we got <coughs> what are they called. Oakleys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's all that. I've just got tons of work to do, but I've got. I've been told I can't work from the doctor. It says if I do, I'm going to lose my knees. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, well, how do you pick strawberries if you can't bend your knee? I don't know how to do that. Pay someone. We'll see. I'm getting old. And then I'll just have a quick whiz down here, because I haven't even had a look for a couple of days. It's been terrible weather. <clears throat> I can see why my knees are fucked though. I mean, having to do this all the time. So it looks like the potatoes are up, most of them. Uh, and then these broads, Le Fevre. Sorry, there. They're going to be a nice cash crop. They always sell well. They always do sell well. And then I've got, I don't know what's going on in there. But I think, here's the reason why I buy plants. I'll show you. So, all, right, I've, I've, I've uh, over, over-sown the, uh, the, the sweet corn here, but they'll get transplanted. So I'm not worried about that. They come up. Same applies to the leeks. You won't be able to see them, but they're there. So those leeks, bearing in mind I've got about 3,000 leeks come in, maybe more, I forget now. But you can never have enough leeks. And then these sweet peas here, I've got to build some sort of frame thing, I don't know what. Um, and then all of this was sown with carrot and parsnips and, and all sorts, but there's a couple of carrots coming up. But German, to guarantee germination here is, is almost impossible. This is navi, this is turnip. Turnip always grows. Uh, and I, I put them in drills, but there was no need. Really, I should have just spaffed them on the floor. Um, and then, yeah, this mustard is doing rather well. So I'm looking forward to seeing if I can't make my own mustard. And then I should have the first of the radish. I can find, there we go. I 
You see, these are called breakfast radish. And they're not too strong. And if they are too strong for you, always just cut the red bits off. I mean, obviously I can't sell that. But, two quid a packet. Stick that on the side of a plate. It's free food, basically. Um, and they're good for you. Here's where a sanglier, a wild boar, came in. And the garlics are loving it. Um, I'll probably uh, pass the camera around to the uh, to the greenhouses at home tomorrow after I've got the delivery in. But there's an 11 minute video. And I, I'm quite sure no one watches these things anyway, maybe one or two. No one ever likes it to show me that they've watched it or anything, so... Just from the records, really. Um, but this is the first year I actually feel that this is a farm. I've given up on the whole money thing. That's a waste of time. But if I can just uh, grow enough food for myself, um, or not have to buy food, would be a better way to say it, because it's so expensive. I mean, eggs have trebled in price in the last month. So I bought eight chickens. <laughs> uh, they're coming in mid-May, so there will be a video for that. But uh, until then, I don't have too much more to say. <clears throat> uh, turns out wild boar don't eat rhubarb. They just dig them up. Bastards. So you know, I hope everyone's okay. Everyone seems to be uh, bored of things going wrong all the time. Nothing ever getting better. Everyone on strike, everyone angry. Well, I don't care. I've got my own little bubble. Um, and I can soon back out of this whole, I don't want to say capitalist, but I won't need money. I'll have my own seeds, I'll generate my own electricity, I've got my own water. And then, don't need no one for nothing. As long as my knees work, of course. Anyway, take care.